Okay, today we're going to learn some colorization techniques using Adobe Photoshop. Uh, now obviously this image is already in color, but what we're going to do is convert it to black and white so that we can add this color effect. Alright, now the first thing we need to do is maybe adjust the levels a little bit to make the image a little bit brighter, make it pop a little bit. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, and you see this nice range here. But what this is basically telling you is that you have a little bit in the actual white range. We could actually bump that up a tiny bit. And then the black range, if we move this a little bit to the right, you'll see the picture get a little bit deeper. Now over here, if I move the mid range up, you'll see that I can get some, some more colors in the background. All right, so it's a little bit clearer. Now what I want to do is I want to do image mode grayscale and I discard color information okay now you might try to do an image adjustments auto contrast see and it pops the color a little bit makes it more of a good black and white image and the next thing I want to do is I want to add a layer because I don't want to paint on the original layer so I want to do Im layer new layer and then I'm going to call it color right here. And you'll see that it'll add a new layer right down here. Okay, now you see the little checker marks. That means that you're on a blank layer. Now I want to paint color on here, but you'll see that everything here is gray. Even if I choose a bright color like pink or even a bright blue, it'll turn to gray. That's because we're still in grayscale. If I go back to image, mode RGB color and don't flatten that would you know get rid of our layer that we want to keep you'll see that we have these bright colors here now so what I want to do is I want to choose a brush and then a feathered brush the soft edges probably a 35 or a 45 you can kind of go down to see how big it is here and then I want to paint on this new layer now this is where you're gonna to have to trust me because this looks really ugly all right, I'm going to add this bright color here, and it doesn't have to be perfect. We want this to have the hand-colored look like the old 50s pictures. And I'm just going to kind of go around and color in all of this area here. I can go up here. Now, the nice thing is if I accidentally go over a bit like that, I can use my eraser and erase the part that I went over because I'm on a different layer see down here how he's, it's colored on that layer. Now if I want to do another color like maybe the little girl is going to have red. I choose a red color. I go down and I paint here. Whoops, I'm still on the eraser. Choose my brush and I go and I paint the areas that I want to be red. Alright, maybe I want her pants to be red. Cursor's lagging a little bit because of the recording software, but you'll get the idea. All right, I can even go up and maybe add a little bit of red to her hat. Okay, now again, I know this looks horribly ugly, and we're going to fix that now. Okay, now what I want to do here is I want to make sure I have my layer, my color layer selected, and I'm going to take my opacity and I'm going to drag that opacity down, 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 down until I get just the slightest bit of color. All right, you might even want it a little bit less than that. Um, now the nice thing is because we have this this color layer here we can even pick other colors like this bright yellow. Maybe I want to paint the dog. Um, let me go to my paintbrush, and if I start painting the dog, he just gets this yellow tint. Alright, I'm not taking my time. Hopefully, if you're doing something you want to keep, you'll take your time. And I can even, again, fix his fingers here where I went over. And I have just a slight tint. It's kind of the hand, you know, colors from the 50s. 
All right, now you can also do some other stuff, but I, I think this gives you a good idea um, of you know how to add these colors to a, a black and white picture, or in this case, convert a color picture to black and white and then add color. So enjoy it, and it should work for you well.